A byte is a combination of 8 bits, whereas a nibble is a combination of 4 bits. In fact, two nibbles put together forms a byte. In the placement interview process, many job aspirants would be asked this question. How can we really achieve it? Let's explore. Swapping the nibbles in a bite is a simple five-step procedure. In the first two steps, I am going to segregate the left and the right nibbles. And how do I achieve it? I am going to make use of the AND operator for it. In the next two steps, I am going to swap the left and the right nibbles. And how do I achieve it? I am going to make use of the left shift and the right shift operators. And then in the last step, I am going to join the nibbles and obtain my new byte. And how do I do that? Using the OR operator. Confused? Let me explain. Let me begin by creating a byte type variable. Internally in the memory, one byte space gets allocated. And just in case, I am going to initialize it to 43, then it would be stored internally in the form of zeros and ones like this. All of us know that a byte is made up of two nibbles. All that I have to do in this program is to swap the nibbles. And how do we do that? By applying the five step procedure. So let's begin applying the procedure step by step. The first step would be to extract the right nibble from the byte. And how do I do that? I just have to AND my data with hexadecimal 0f. Let me explain. This is my data 43. This is hexadecimal 0f. I have to AND them. And you know the way the AND operation behaves. If and only if both the inputs are 1, the output would be 1. And in all other cases, the output would be 0. Applying the AND, this is the result that I get. And if you would carefully notice the result, you would realize that all the bits of my right nibble are preserved as they are. In fact, if you even more carefully notice the output, you would realize that the bits of the left nibble are all zeros. This goes to show that I have been successful in extracting the right nibble from my byte. In the second step, I'll have to extract the left nibble. And how do I do that? I'm again going to use the AND operator, but this time I'm not going to AND my data with hexadecimal 0f. Rather, I would be ANDing it with hexadecimal F0. Let me explain. This is my data 43. This is hexadecimal F0. I have to perform the AND operation. And this is the result. If you would carefully notice the result, you would realize that all the bits of the left nibble are preserved as they are. If you will further notice, all the bits of the right nibble have become zeros. This goes to show that I have been successful in extracting the left nibble from my pie. The third and the fourth step is all about shifting the nibble positions. In the third step, I am going to take my right nibble and shift it to the left by four positions. And when I will apply the step, this is what happens. In the fourth step, I am going to take my left nibble and shift it to the right by four positions. And when I'll apply it, this is what happens. So, I've been successful in swapping my nibble positions. The final step is all about combining the nibbles and obtaining a new byte. And how do I do that? I would be making use of the OR operator. Let me explain. This is my first nibble. This is my second nibble. I have to perform the OR operation. And you know the way the OR behaves. If and only if both the inputs are zeros, the output is going to be zero. And in all other cases, the output would be one. If I'll apply it, this is the result. If you would carefully notice the result, you would realize that we have been successful in swapping the results. Hope you realize that. But the real challenge is, that how do we convert these five steps to a Java code? Let me explain. Writing the Java code happens to be the simplest part in the entire process. And let me tell you, 
the five step procedure can all be packed into a single line of code confused let me explain the first step was to and my number with hexadecimal 0f and this is how i do it the second step was to again and my number with f0h and this is how i do that the third step was to left shift my right nibble by four positions and this is how i do the fourth step was to right shift my left nibble by four positions and this is how i do it and the last step was to combine the nibbles using the or operator and this is the way i do it so this one statement packs in itself all the five steps and whatever is the new byte that i would obtain i would store it in a variable called new number of course i will have to declare the two variables as well as initialize my num to the data 43 and the complete program looks like this and when i execute this is the output so i'm sure you've been able to understand as to how we can swap the nibbles present in a byte in my next video you would understand the five step procedures to swap the even and the odd bits present in a byte if you would wish to know that watch my next